Kia ora te whanau. Um, before we get started on this week's episode, um, I just have some really exciting news. So pleased to announce um, we're partnering with the Lad Collective on this Aussie series. Um, if you don't know about the Lad Collective, there's two brothers, um, Ed and Bill, who have started a um, bed sheet company that's all about creating easy to use bed sheets that empower young men to start to take care of their bedding situation. Now, you know our saying here at the Boys Are Decorating is... How are you going to learn how to look after yourself if you don't know how to look after what's around you? If you could drop a thank you to the Lead Collective um, just below in the comments. Literally this whole Aussie trip would not have been possible without them. So, so we can't thank them enough for their support. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Kia ora Tufano. welcome to The Boys Are Decorating. Um, my name is Joe Damon. If you didn't already know, The Boys Are Decorating is a show but getting young men into interior design, um, one of the big mottos that we have here is that if you don't know how to look after what's around you, how are you going to know how to look after yourself? Today's guest um, is one of my closest mates. We've been boys for about four years now, and uh, he's one of the best dudes you ever meet. Um, I'll say a mental health advocate. Uh, from what you will know him for, he played just under 200 games in the NRL. Um, the amazing Louis Brown, who you'll know even more for now as the uh, creative director, founder of uh, the amazing streetwear brand, Earl's Collection. Let's go check out what Lou's up to. Oh, oh my goodness. How are you, my bro? Oh, have to. Yeah, my bro. Good to see you, Kazzy. Yeah, fucking yeah. good to see you. Good Shut up, my bro. Welcome to Sydney, bro. I'm loving this alleyway. Bro. Yeah, no, no. no. <laughs> watch, watch, the, watch the wood, bro. She's a bit, uh, she's a bit, bit touching at the moment, yeah. All right, all right. The first space. Bro, this is uh, nice, man. Yeah, it is, bro. Yeah, yeah, Holy it is, shit. bro. Ducked out further, bro. Duvet. I'll be Over here, they call it a duna. Duna, no duvet. A duna? Yeah, duna. What's the girl with it? I don't know, bro. Same as chili bin and, and, and I guess like that, bro, but just wrong. Yeah, so uh, I, I take the left side. I will say, this is the best bed that we've seen on the show so Ooh. far. I'm not even jeering up. So we're sponsored by some amazing boys out in Brizzy, the Lake Collective. Yeah. So one thing they wanted me to ask everyone is yeah. how often do you change your bed sheets? Say so not near enough. Just to do it every, uh, every Sunday. Um, Weekly? Yeah. Got uh, got my granddad over here who, uh, who uh, unfortunately lost a few months, a few months ago, but he sort of my looks over me at night. Just keeping that Kiwi spirits with me, bro. Yeah. 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 What's the what's the whole setup there? Oh, we bro. haven't got the number ones on it. No, bro. that's fair. We've that's got the replacements. In there. <laughs> <laughs> no, because because you know, and you know what one of the crazy things is, is as dudes, we spend so much time in the bed, but like we don't really put a lot of effort into nah, the comfort bro. of it. I, I agree, bro. But well, I'm lo I'm loving this, brother. Can't wait to see the rest, bro. I'll follow yeah. you. I'll follow Bye, you. Let's go. <laughs> Lounge, bro. So it's kind of like I said before, uh, work, work a lot from home, bro. Having 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 my own business, Earl. We share a, a, a space three days a week. This is my little haven, bro. I'm keen to start here. Yeah. Move along. Kind of into like a lot into the books, whether it's shoes, um, clothing. Uh, we've got graphic design here. Um, yeah, just trying to like knowledge myself up and a lot about, Great. I guess you know, life and I guess like the industry that or the lane that I'm in at the moment. And then uh, we just go into my records, bro. Probably not the best time to show you. Nah, my, my nah, yeah, uh, but yeah. That one? You can't, you can't underplay the impact. You nah, nah, nah. Like these albums, you know, they reflect a lot of my childhood. Like, you know, like, you know, what I grew up listening to. And for me, music is a big thing. It like, sort of takes me back to like, when I grew up in Christchurch, you know, my mates I used to hang out with, you know, how we used to be our style back then. Yeah. Um, and just also how far like technology's coming. There's a lot, there's a lot of young dudes who, who yeah. like yourself would have, would have had that one, but then you have so many other like vehicles that you want to show. Yeah. Like you, you, you know, you want to express yourself. Exactly, bro. And that's why we're even looking at because this. Like, if you even look at this, like this speaks more to you than rugby. Yep. You know, I remember I'd go to Warriors gigs down Ponsonby Road, and I, I'd walk in for with a cardigan, and I'd, Ivan would be like, uh, like he'd come up to me and be like, "What the fuck are you wearing, mate?" I have a cardigan on, do you know? A cardigan? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's like, fucking hell, what are you wearing? I could go more. E more exactly, more. exactly, bro. <laughs> but where's this from? The the cabinet? Yeah, the cabinet. Uh, I think it's from Domain or uh, Matt Black. Because this is mad. The little cabinet that runs into the TV cabinet. It's that retro. Yeah, that retro grain bear, pad. Yeah, yeah. Very, very 70. So that's so the beer brick. Uh, Muhammad oh, Ali. Bed, Muhammad yeah. Ali, you got the cause one up there. And then uh, we move over to another cause. Um, one just here, bro. And then obviously the Virgil books Dang. as well. Um, massive icon. For me, like when, when I was younger, bro, it was more about like 
shoes, sneakers. Yeah. You know what I mean? It was always about like, well, what sneakers has he got on? You know what I mean? Yeah. And it wasn't about. It wasn't about the foot. It wasn't about B, C, D, E, nah. F. I feel sorry for parents, bro. As you can probably see, there's no baby cot in the house. Yeah. Here, <laughs> Uncle got to get that cash. Yeah. Somewhere, bro. <laughs> As you see, we've got a few plants. Bro, the cactus one, you don't really see that much. Nah, bro. Yeah, I found this one, um, I found a, a cactus place up in Botany and you actually booked in yeah. um, to get a time and then you'd go in and you got to pick your cactus and they potted it for you at the time. So, really? Yeah, so we picked that off the shelf and potted it up for us and brought it home. Bro, you don't see that often, a, a big like, kind of the, the vibe these days is like Monstera and then oh, like- And yeah, then those like, fiddle leaves, bro. Yeah, yeah. Th those for bro, sure. I've been through about 10 of them old place, bro. Yeah, true. Yeah. I'm loving this. Like where, where's this from, you know, why, why this in particular? They I've never been a massive fan in. of a uh, coffee table, eh? Oh, really? But uh, we get lots of compliments when people come down and, and see it and they really like it, eh? Like, what, yeah, why weren't you a fan of coffee table? When I used to sit at home, and I'd be like icing my knees after footy, bro. Whenever I get up, oh, I'd get in the fucking way. Always bang them, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Uncle got the worst knees as well. No cartilage in either of them. What I love about your guy, the, the program, bro, is like, you know, you get to go like into people's spaces and a, a space tells a lot about someone. You know, for someone that comes over and I haven't got the greatest talk, bro, I just tell them to pick up a book and have a read and I'll get back to you in 20 minutes. Bro, and that explains everything. Like, you, you only have to look at a few of these things to yep. know straight away, like, Okay, I know loose taste. I know what you're into. You know, bear brick, it's pop culture, but it's also sport. Like, it, it tells so many exactly, things. Exactly, bro. You know, I'm sports inspired, bro. That's yeah. sports is in my, in my blood. Oh, you know? no way. Kind of, um, yeah. Oh, man. Don't draw much inspiration from these oh, anymore, yeah. bro. <laughs> <laughs> Holy hell. But yeah, just keeping the old lead cards, bro. That was, that was something of, as a kid, bro, like, um, I grew up a single mum, bro. You know, she did everything she could to, to help me make my dream come true. She used to buy me each year for my birthday the box set of rugby league cards. From 1989 to, uh, I think, 2002, I've got every set at home, all, all filed up. You know, and that's because of her, and I grew up wanting to have my own card. To be able to still have these, and, and I show my little nieces and nephews now, and it kind of blows them away a little bit, you know? Yeah. And, and it's still sort of, for me, it's still surreal. You know, we, we, live in a, we live in a world that's full of opinions, bro. And you know, the only one that, that, the only opinion that matters is the one of yourself, I, I believe, you. Yeah. I can love that, my brother. Check. I love that. Just a little uh, a concrete table. I uh, hosted a few Mad Mondays. I'd go to bed early, bro. All the boys know I can't handle Mad Monday. Yeah, so yeah. And I'd let the boys party. Uh, but at least we kept them in the one, one spot, you know what I mean? Into the kitchen. Excuse the... No hands, nah, nah, no I, hands, I know the deal. you got to get the yeah. knife easy. you got to get the knife. The old water over here, right? Not as good as back in Aotearoa, bro. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. bro what, what's the go of the rocks and shit? Oh, cuz. Oh, I don't even know, bro. I'm waiting for the goldfish to pop yeah, out. Yeah, that's what I was yeah. That's what I was wondering. So, you know, everything has to be distilled and, you know, the alkaline, cuz. How it goes. So, yeah. Uh, alkaline? Yeah, the alkaline. Oh, I don't even know, bro. I don't even know the spell it I think either. I ordered that for dinner last <laughs> <laughs> This is actually a cool, a cool present. Last year, unfortunately, we lost a close friend to the business, uh, Eliza. Which is really tough you know we're still all going through it now and, and you know shout out to all her friends and and um everyone she touched sending my love to her family and stuff like that but this is something that she gave me um i believe one of her good friends stevie does it and it's just i've been into my sneakers for years bro air force one candle That's so dope yeah bro. but bro it gets so hot over here and i've got no air con and have oh, to put it in the, fridge. Keep it in the fridge yeah otherwise uncle will melt it yeah <laughs> yeah yeah so that's mean that you just keep it yeah in the bro fridge. yeah keep it in there on ice and then we sort of come down through here bro this is where um a bit more of like more of a storage kind of room is it's meant to be a spare room mm. but you know I'm, I'm a bit of a hoarder when it comes to clothes bro and i've got a lot of samples and stuff from earls yeah, and then true. as you can see i love my uh, my shoes i've always kind of been into sneakers so just a mixture of everything bro and then what's a kiwi without a mattress in the room oh but i feel at home now yeah yeah right on right on the floor so if you oh, so this is the mattress room yeah yeah so if the oh we usually pull into the lounge bro we call it yeah. night. what i love about like even hanging around my Kiwi, like going to see catch up with my Kiwi mates and then even having you boys here. Bro, I start speaking like a New Zealander again, like proper proper get into the lingo and stuff like that. Because you feel back at home exactly. straight away. Exactly, the old like, like calling out to people. Gee. So I'll be walking through a mall and I'll go like someone I knew and then you'd see the everyone turn around. It's like, how, how do they know that? But it's just something that you, know, you, you know. pick up along the way, you know what I mean? You just small it. things like that, bro. And that's what makes our culture so special, you know? Bro, it, it, it really does. Some of my favorite shoes here. A lot of Earl samples. We're shooting a new campaign next week, so got some stuff in for summer. A little bit more floral stuff, That's and then nice. just something that I've always been proud of is you know part of the family, bro. So something we're coming out in winter. Me got the old school. Got the old school uh, jail. Uh, the old the orange, orange. You know that railway yeah, stuff. And then yeah, yeah. Um, a new one for this year. Watering new beginnings. You know, for us, it's a it's a, a new year, a oh, new challenge. 
fire. Yeah, yeah. So we've got that coming out in a few weeks. Have you shown um, this anywhere? Nah. So this is the... Yeah, so this is one of our first ones that we're doing next week. So uh, watering Dang. new beginnings. Bro, we'll, we'll get rid of the mattress and I'll yeah. show you some of the holy grails, oh, eh? Let's pull, let's pull it out. Let's go, guys. You got that. Yeah. Can't reverse it the other way, bro. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like we kind of just get into my uh, muscle. Oh, bro, it's probably not tidy. But yeah, well, this is where my real passion kind of lays and that's sneakers. Um, these are probably my, probably the biggest holy grail I have. Waited outside the supply shop, missed out in the raffle and for offered a kid 900 for them. <laughs> and yeah, so they're the Jordan one. Bro, look uh, at these. Yeah, never worn them actually. Probably my, my favorite holy grails. Yeah, just something, I don't think I'd ever wear them. Oh, maybe on my nah. wedding night. But yeah, I, 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 just something I've always kept. One, the kept ones. them in here, bro. Yeah, and, the, and size 10 too, so a good size. I think I looked up on GOAT a few weeks ago, I think they're worth a few K now. I think upwards of 9, 10K. Yeah, and people were laughing at me at the time for buying for 900. I don't know where I'm breaking into. <laughs> <laughs> nah, full surveillance, bro. Full surveillance. <laughs> but yeah, bro, that's, that's basically my space. But yeah, and then just keep my motto up there, bro, day by day. That's what I try and live by, just to keep the mind right. And bro, one, one of the big things that really hits hard for me in this space is it's unapologetically entirely you. And it's yep. you in ways... It's you in ways that you're expressing to people. Yeah. You know, we see through what you're creating, but then it's also you in ways that people may never see. Exactly, bro. Yeah. Like you exactly. saying that some of the shoes you'll never wear. Yeah. It's like, that's just for you. Exactly, bro. Yeah, if you can grow that mindset and be around people that, you know, are willing to push you and believe in you, well, you've got the right, you know, you've got the right formula. My brother. Appreciate you, bro. Bro. I just want to say thank you so much for coming on the show, bro. Oh, like, thank you. It was honestly having me, bro, and, and coming through the crib, you know, being, being, watching from afar bro and also just want to give raps to you bro you've, you've been awesome and seeing you evolve as a person to remember four years ago we did our first podcast bro. Know, bro it's crazy um, yeah, it all yeah. first started so just once again seeing it come back around full circle bro and, and how far you have grown it, it's really cool bro you know for everyone back home w with this guy you know i had you turn up to it was a it was a youth group like <laughs> yeah. their band studio like you had no reason to give me as much time as you did and you gave me so much time bro and so much love and then you've always supported me since then yeah that's only just a small testament to how much of a good oh, i appreciate are, bro. you bro and, and, really and the things that we spoke about on that podcast a lot of it was mental health because yeah. you know that's the background story of, of earls you know that's probably the most vulnerable i've been you created an environment that made me feel the most comfortable as well bro so that's a, a huge testament to you too brother i um, appreciate you saying that bye Easy, all right Fano, that's been the boys are decorating with fucking my big brother louis brown <laughs> it's um it's fucking good to see you again brother thank you my bro that's us for today Fano. six years ago bro i put a, when a picture of myself wearing pleated shorts yeah but no no you're, ki no, you're killing it yeah exactly oh yeah, yeah these ones like, you're bro. rocking those yeah, usually you see that under a, a yeah. Gold offense, but that's the one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah those ones. <laughs> <laughs> Not the indoor ones. Not the other contact. <laughs> yeah. Oh.